So with all that in mind, what kind of a legal leg does President Trump's team have to stand on in order to challenge the results of those votes? ABC 21's Corinne Rose spoke with a professor at the Indiana University Law School to find out. So far, the lawsuits haven't had much impact at all on the counting that's going on. IU Law School professor Gerard Magliaca says he's not surprised that judges in Michigan and Georgia dismissed challenges by President Trump's legal team. What a judge is not going to do is issue an order that says you have to stop counting votes until further notice. And one reason for that is that, you know, things have to happen within a certain period of time. This isn't like a normal lawsuit where you can take as much time as you want. I mean, we have to have a new president by 20th of January. He says the only legal recourse he can see for President Trump is to ask for recounts like his team did in Wisconsin. However, he says recounts typically uncover only tens or maybe hundreds of ballots marked incorrectly, which is why he says the remaining states are taking so long to complete the process. He says election officials are making sure the counts are done correctly the first time. If you correct things you've already said or change things you've already said, then people really would start to wonder about what was going on, as opposed to going through many times to make sure that whatever batch you're counting, you've counted correctly and then putting out the whole batch and saying, OK, this is the count and now We've done that one, and now we're going to the next one. President Trump said after the election that he would take his appeals all the way to the Supreme Court. And many have wondered how that might play out now that the high court has a 6-3 to three conservative majority, with three of them having been confirmed under this administration. But Professor Magliaca says it's unlikely for any voting challenge to reach the court. There aren't any cases that so far can even say that you're going to change the result in any state, let alone the overall election. So until you get to that point, you're not going to have the Supreme Court involved. He also says if Joe Biden should be declared the winner, President Trump legally does not have to accept the results or concede the election because the results would stand. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.